Matter of fact, I'm at the fact that I'm on view for August 1st, 2014. It's the first day of August. Okay, I believe it's the last month of the summer. The biggest party of the summer is coming up very shortly. But, we are just 16 days away, I believe, from that big event. But, now let's get to, uh, before I get to SmackDown, I want to remind everyone to check out a couple of big sponsors of mine that help me out a lot. Uh, Wrestling news and views and uh, on uh, Facebook and Wrestling News Talk also on Facebook. One by my very good Wrestling News Talk is one by my very good friend Andre Andre Corbio as well as my other great YouTube friend who uh, uh Big Way Raymond Hernandez and Big Bill Styler with uh the what you do can can I watch the show every Saturday night, Bill Styler, with Back in the Day, uh, Big Way and Andre Corp. The can I watch the show, like I said, every Saturday night on the Andre Corp YouTube page. And, uh, they are also a very good friends with Bill Outlook at OneWrestling.com and Outlook One on Twitter. Also, Andre and Big Bill all, uh, Andre. Big Way and Big Bill all have their own Twitter accounts. So should be they should they should be somewhere in the description. If they not uh but now uh let's get to uh and also I have my own Twitter, Big Dub three sixty. Check it out. But uh it should be in the description. But now let's get to SmackDown and kick it off with uh they are live and well not live. They are in Corpus Christi, Texas. We kick it off with Cesaro, the former Paul Heyman guy, taking on Jack Swagger, the real American. Uh, Swagger takes a, a, lot of, a lot of beating in the beginning. The match went very long. Run over uh, But uh, Swagger took most of the beating that I remember. Uh, but came out on top by catching a big boot. And turning it into a uh, ankle lock submission for the submit for the tap out victory. Uh, but uh, after that, uh, as the as Swagger and Colter were celebrating, they were interrupted by Lana and Rusev, who challenged them to a uh, flag match for SummerSlam. Uh, they apparently agreed to it. And it will happen at the biggest party, of the, the biggest party of the summer, uh, summer slam. After that, the next match was Bo Dallas taking on the man, the only man, being the one in 17 and one at uh, JBO party, all truth, uh, all truth, taking on Bo Dallas once again in the rematch from Raw. Uh, this time, Bo Dallas snapped. And got it and got himself disqualified, giving all truth another victory over Bo Dallas. Uh, and after that, we had a we had the uh, Divas Champion AJ Lee take it on Rosa Mendez, who I haven't seen on TV in a very long time, and now we know why because she, apparently she still can't wrestle as she lost in record time to AJ Lee. Uh, I'm not, I'm not even sure she got a move in. AJ only got like one move in. That was the Black Widow for the submission victory. After Rosa was screaming at her that she wanted a title match, which I don't believe she deserves. She said like she tapped out this quick. Ooh, she did. But uh, after AJ picked up the win, she skipped her way back up the ramp and to celebrate, only to be uh, attacked by her former frenemy, uh, Paige, and pushed off the uh, stage onto the floor. She also, uh, she looked like she may have uh, bumped one of the cameras on the outside on the floor when she landed. But, uh, they did carry her out, and we all know this is part of a storyline building to, to the match at SummerSlam, which actually still hasn't been uh, officially announced on television, but we know it's gonna happen. At least I know it's gonna happen. Uh, after that, we had Dean Ambrose taking on both 
Seth Rollins and Kane in a handicap match. Seth Rollins spent most of the time uh, trying to keep from being attacked by Dean Ambrose by constantly getting out of the ring. Constantly getting out of the ring. Like every time Ambrose got any kind of uh, offense uh, against Rollins, uh, Rollins would uh, tag out the Kane. And tag himself back in when he thought Dean Ambrose was uh, beaten enough. Uh, but at one point, Dean Ambrose did get his hands on Rollins only to be uh, jumped from behind by Kane, which led Ambrose to grab a chair and hit both Kane and Rollins with it, getting himself disqualified as Rollins uh, slinked uh, 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 back up the lap uh, to let the fight another day. But that's the most hour of war. That's right, I went through an oh, hour and under five minutes, I believe. But that's pretty much what's happened so far. So let's get back and see how the rest of the show continues. As we move into the uh, second hour of the show, we have Fandango taking on Diego to take out with uh, Summer Way and Ray Hart, along with El Torito. Uh, once again, Summer Way and uh, Ray Hart caught Fandango another match by dancing outside the lane with, fun, with uh, El Torito and distracting, distracting Fandango, which led to a ba uh, backstabber from Diego to the one, two, three. Uh, Summer Way and Ray Hart, the two I like, the two that I like to refer to the Summer Way. Uh, causing more uh, uh, chaos for Fandango uh, on SmackDown. After that, we had Alberto Del Rio taking on Dolph Ziggler uh, with the Miz, the Intercontinental Champion and the most must-see WWE Intercontinental Champion of all time, Dolph Ziggler, the Miz, on commentary. Uh, uh, it was a pretty good back-and-forth match. But it wasn't until Dolph got like he was about to pick up the win when the Miz decided that it was time to finish his acceptance speech that he says Dolph ruined the last time. He did some of the announce table. Well, it's a really an awesome win dance that I wish I had. It's not to give an acceptance speech, which distracts Dolph Ziggler, which led to. Uh, Del Rio, uh -huh. so on the course on Breaker and getting a, getting a submission win over Dolph Ziggler. I have a feeling that this could lead to Dolph versus, they are building, I should say, to Dolph versus Miz at SummerSlam for the other partner with title, which I would love to see. Uh, but somewhere between those two matches, but somewhere between those two matches, uh, they were talking to Joe Cole about his match. His main event match against Eric Rowan. He says that he made it was a special stipulation on his match that if he beats Eric Rowan on his uh, Eric Rowan tonight, that Rowan will not be at ringside for his match against uh, Ray Wyatt at SummerSlam. And, uh, and in the main event, in the main event tonight, it was uh, a very hard fought back and forth match with some. Oh, well. I would get a lot of offense more than I ever expected him to against Choco. Uh, Luke Harper was actually out with the out, was actually out with, uh, Rowan and Wyatt, but, uh, he got tossed, but, uh, Harper got tossed out midway through the match. And, uh, uh, it was down to Rowan versus Choco. Well, with Wyatt on the outside. And, uh, Choco was able to pick up a quick win. A quick pitfall victory over Eric Rowan, which means Rowan will now be banned from ringside during the uh, match at SummerSlam between Chuck Rowan and Bray Wyatt. I have a feeling that on the wall, or maybe next week on SmackDown, we'll have a match with uh, Harper and Chuck with the same stipulation, getting uh, Harper banned from ringside as well. But, uh, a very good uh, SmackDown tonight. I really enjoyed it. But that's it for now. Like, subscribe, comment. And check out my Twitter account, Big Dubs with 60, and check out all those links in the 
the description. Audrey Club, your favorite Hernandez, that big girl style of it. You can't have watched the show. And, uh, still out no one likes me dot com. Let's see he's talk on Facebook. And, uh, like the news. And he's on Facebook for all your news and needs. But, uh, the both those pages are very reliable sources and resources for all your wrestling needs, needs, and scenes. So check them out and like me on Facebook. Uh, like me on, uh, follow me, I should say, on Twitter at BigDub660. I'll be back for more. Smackdown in the back as we move forward to SummerSlam 2014. And I think it's going to be a good one. But now I'm out of here. See ya.